asked my GF stad for approval to marry her, he said no. Do I return the ring? Well, I asked my GF stad of four years today if I can marry his daughter and he said no not yet which shocked me. We met in college and I have already graduated and have a full-time job that pays decent and she has a semester or two left. He said wait until after she graduates because he supports her financially which I understand. The financial support he gives is the $3,400 a semester for tuition and half of monthly rent and that's it. I pay for everything else from groceries to the clothes she wants. I spend around 3 5 k a month on all of that. I already bought a ring expecting them to say yes, we wouldn't get married until she graduates, has a full-time job, and we are in the house. I'm stunned and I guess I shouldn't have asked before we are all attending an event together. So my question advice needed is what do I do with the ring? It wasn't cheap and it's all custom, won't be done until September October and it's around 3 carats to give an idea on the price. Do I return it and buy another one in a year or two that could be nicer or do I just hold on to it or? Also, what do I tell my family? I asked my parents for permission and have already showed off the ring to my co-workers, friends, and family. Thank you in advance. What does she say? I can't believe you never mentioned how she feels in any of this. Talk to her. She's the one you're marrying. Um you spend 3-5k a month on groceries and clothes? Seems a bit excessive regardless lol. I didn't know this asking parents thing was a real thing. Why isn't this the girl's decision? You're not marrying the father. I'd honestly keep the ring and wait the two semesters out. This is something you tell your GF. Tell her he has said no and ask her if she wants you to go ahead anyway. This isn't her dad's choice, this is hers. Though I would say, if she is dependent on her dad's money, might be wise to wait till she has got it all before defying him. If she isn't dependent on it and could do without, her dad has no leverage and if she wants you to propose you should do so. Let your girlfriend decide her own life, this isn't the 50s. If you can afford $3.5k per month for clothes and groceries, then the dad's financial support is not needed. That's up to $60,000 per year and I guess it's for everything but rent and tuition, maybe not just clothes and groceries. I am so fixated at having that kind of dollar to spend that I'm having trouble focusing on the question, but, bottom line is you're both adults and the decision is ultimately hers not dad's. I get that you want a happy family though so just tell him you will take over all financial needs. Then it's not really his concern. Did she want you to ask her dad? Why tf are you asking her dad? Are you marrying him? Tell your gf what her father told you. That is her family, she is the one who can sort it out or decide when their approval becomes unnecessary keep the ring. Take weekly pictures of it with her in the background when she is unaware and add them to your wedding slideshow. Tell her exactly how long you've been carrying it in your pocket when you finally do pop the question. Bet she thinks it is adorable. In the meantime start saving up whatever you can in preparation of eliminating any other protestations they have to you proposing once she is graduated. What did your dad say when she asked him for approval to marry you? It's not the 1800s anymore. Her dad doesn't own her. The only person you should be asking is your partner. Are you and your GF not adults? Why do you have to sneak around behind her back and ask her dad like she's his property? This is the 21st century, you know, not the 19th. This is why, you ask the person you want to marry, not the person you want to marry's relatives. Where did you find a 3 carat ring for under $20,000? It's 2023. In 2003 a 2 carat ring was $21,000. I know, because I wore it. Calling BS on this whole post. Find better things to do with your time. Why are people still asking the father's permission? Women are not property owned by the father to be passed down to the husband. 
she's a human who has just as much input in getting married as the guy. Why do people still do this antiquated bullshit, she's her own woman she's not her father's property just ask her and the hell with what he thinks. You're both adults. Why on earth are you letting your parents control your lives? Do you want to propose? Do it. Does she want to be engaged and eventually get married to you? She should say yes. Your relationship is between the two of you, how you decide to move forward should be between the two of you as well. If her parents won't pay for her college anymore, that's their loss really. But again, you both are adults, time to start taking care of yourselves a bit. Why did he say no? Because she hasn't graduated yet? I mean, my dad told my husband no. We are celebrating our 10 year anniversary this month. Out of curiosity, is there a rush? Marriage is for the rest of your life, and what is it to the both of you to wait? You sound like you make decent money, are you much older than her or a soon to be graduate as well? There's no harm in waiting. Like many others have said, hold on to the ring once you receive possession of it and also get it insured once you do. Hold on to it, it isn't like he said no because you weren't good enough. He said no because as a father myself, he just wants to make sure she finishes college and then he'll say yes. So it isn't like he hates you. Hold on to the ring, it isn't going to fade away or evaporate waiting one more year. Holding on to it you can give her the ring when she finishes or use it for value to upgrade to a better one if you want it when it comes time. Wholesalers will use the value towards another if you wanted to change the style. Hide the ring, and wait. If you're going to let another guy stop you from proposing to your long-term GF, then you have a lot more to learn. A blessing is appreciated, not required. My Phil asked what would you do if I said no? I said ask her anyway. He said, good answer. A bit off topic but I really don't understand why one would ask the partner's parents for approval in the first place. Talk to your partner about the marriage and the ring, they are the one you are marrying and they are capable of deciding for themselves. Hold on to the ring and give it to her when she graduates, but communicate to her that you have a ring but her dad said no. Just be honest about the whole situation. When she finishes college, you don't need to go back to him to ask permission. Talk to her and her alone. It's her decision. Propose to your girlfriend, give her the ring. You can be engaged, while waiting until she graduates, to get married. Before planning the wedding, ask her father again for his blessing. Why would it need to be nicer? It's already a bit ridiculous. And 3-5k a month? Good lord. I don't see this ending well. I'd first ask him if he's okay with y'all getting engaged and wait until she graduates to actually get married. If you'll eventually get married, why return the ring? A dumb financial advisor who bought 15k dollar ring. Got it I wouldn't bother advising. Just tuck. Just tell her I asked your dad permission to marry you. He said no. He said I have to wait. I want to make you aware so you can tell me what you want to happen next. Will your girlfriend be offended that you gave her dad more say in her future than you're giving her? It could be for tax purposes and her getting married before she graduates could mess up any scholarships and other tuition grants. He may be able to claim her tuition on his taxes as long as she is under 26 and unmarried. Why would you return it? Wait and talk for her when it's ready in September. Why is the engagement an issue? Couldn't it just be a long engagement? My fiancé and I have been engaged for two years now, we plan to marry next year if we want. We don't want to do a big ceremony and we know we're forever so what's the rush on the actual wedding lol. Go back and ask him what you can do to earn his permission. He might really respect that. If she means a lot to you, you can work for her father's approval. My wife told me before it even got to that point that if her dad said no to just ask her anyway. She also said I didn't even need to ask but I still didn't luckily he said sure.